It's a battle against money. Uh, it's a battle against evil. And it's quite remarkable that in the year 2015, uh, we face a modern version of slavery, uh, something we actually fought a civil war over here in this country. This report is the product of really an entire year-long effort. These folks will leave here today and they begin on next year's report. And it is a constant process of uh, following up with the employees at our diplomatic posts around the world, uh, gathering facts, information, uh, and helping to lay it out. And this report is important because it really is one of the best means that we have as individuals to speak up for adults and children who lack any effective platform whatsoever through which they are able to speak for themselves. Because of its credibility, this report is also a source of validation and inspiration to activists on every single continent who are striving to end this scourge of modern slavery. The purpose of this document is not to scold, it's not to name and shame. Uh, it is to enlighten and to energize, and most importantly, to empower people. And by issuing it, we want to bring to the public's attention the full nature and scope of a $150 billion illicit trafficking industry. And it is an industry. And when the practice of using forced labor to catch fish, to process meat, to sew clothing, to assemble toys is exposed, then authorities will have a good reason to look at other industries and consumers will then have cause to question the origins of the global supply chains of what they have chosen to buy and what is placed before them in stores or online.